Merry Eddie, Christmas, guys. I hope you enjoyed the battlefield video earlier because as we move on to my last video for the day, it's a little Every bit of destiny available. showing you some action that I had action packed gameplay from the best experience that I have in the multiplayer. I love Destiny so much uh, in this multiplayer, even though I don't get to play the game that often. Just because there's so many games that I actually have to play now. I'm not just stuck with a few games to play. But Destiny is definitely a game I can go and play. It's multiplayer from time to time. And even free roam the world a bit. And there's, I'm, I'm happy to announce that hopefully today we have a ton of members moving on up to, to the on Xbox it. One. So, so I'll have fight. some friends to play all remaining. of these games with throughout the week instead of just on the weekend or occasionally. Because I have to admit, guys, it does get a little, a little eh, long just playing by yourself all of the time. You can, it's not to say that you still don't have fun on, on games and most of you out there can actually understand what I'm going through. It's not to say that you, you don't have fun on games. It's just saying that your experiences could be a heck of a lot better if you had somebody to play with. Because let's be honest, what games experience isn't better when you have more people? Especially war games, racing games, Minecraft, all sorts of games are just 10 times better when you actually have somebody to play them with. It just, it helps you notice things that you may not have even noticed before. It gives you a whole new perspective on the way you're playing and you just have a lot of good laughs. Something funny may happen to the person that just, that is uh, playing with you. But pretty much it just, again, Having someone else to play with is so much more preferable than just playing by yourself all the time. And I'm really excited to know that we're actually having some guys move on up. You want to have somebody to enjoy this Xbox One experience with not just Battlefield, but Destiny and Minecraft. But just, just all sorts of games that I can actually enjoy the experience. It's... it's it's definitely, it's definitely great. I'm really excited for it. Yeah, it's just it's great, great to know that. If there's anything I'm looking forward to uh, toward this Christmas, I would have to say is being able to play with more people. Now I can bring you guys some even more exciting episodes, playing alongside some friends and having some great times. But also, as a surprise in here, I left. Give me a second. One time where I actually did get to play with a friend. He was a noob at Destiny, as you can see. I just sick. mostly sat here and watched him play and die an awful lot. Though in this break in the action, we managed to meet up with this cool guy as we just sat here, dance with each other, go ahead and mess through myself. This this was a while back. My character is far more upgraded and leveled up than this right now. And this was some time ago. His Titan is far more leveled up too, but it's just funny how I'm able to kill these guys with literally one shot, two shots to the head, and he's over here struggling, emptying clip after clip after clip. That just, yeah, it's just, it's hilarious to watch, and it's even more hilarious just having to go in and listen to him, listen to him rage and revive him constantly. It's just, it's great. It's, it's. <laughs> Just want to sit here and watch him try to clear out this entire room of high level bots. Just watch the struggle. You see that little skeleton that I just backed up in the corner of a minute ago? That's that's probably going to be him next in a second once he tries to charge this a captain with the shrapnel launcher. That shrapnel launcher, it did not play back whenever you were low levels or whenever you're going up against one of those high ranking captains and they have one of the shrapnel launchers, that thing will rip you to pieces. And it sure is, hey, ripped him to pieces a few times. I think he has another death coming up in a minute. Though he's trying to use his cover effectively. And I'm just over here trying to watch, <laughs> be entertained while not actually interfering. He wanted me to help him out some, but I said, no, how are you going to learn? I'm, I'm helping you get some XP by putting this on the highest difficulty that I can. Look at that. He came over and meleeed me and barely even took out one little section of help. Although the captain, he, he could actually uh, perform a great deal of damage to me. Uh, I didn't give him the chance to. They were just so distracted by him. I guess he was pretty much the fresh meat in the game. 
just oh, I just turned around for a second and he's already dead. It just it just kept on being, getting funnier and funnier with every time he died. I feel a little cruel about it, <clears throat> but hey, I had to teach him how I had to teach him the ropes. I had to get him used to things. I didn't want to pull the trigger right there because I hate to add to his death count, which is probably at four or five by now. There are some deaths that you did not get the chance to see on camera because I just I felt as though we'd probably be here all day with all the deaths that he had that game. You just been trying to take out this captain for several minutes now and it just keeps on going. He threw my grenade in there to try to soften him up for me, but I can tell he was not going to be able to break those shields anytime soon. And he actually starts to weaken them, soften them up a bit. I try to get in here and distract him. And he ends up just almost dying. The captain's like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I want that easy. I want that easy. He didn't want to come over there and mess with me. And finally came in and blasted the captain's head off. Was so proud of him. And even more proud of the fact that we actually don't have to sit there for any longer trying to beat one guy. We sat there for a good minute. But luckily, the rest of the, the way through this mission wasn't as long as that one little part. I did try to tell him at the start of this to get out of the way of the purple blast, but for some reason it didn't feel like listening. He said, "Why? Wow, what's going to happen? I don't know what else did you what else you thought was going to happen, but goodness, please tell me you saw how far back his body flew. Oh my goodness! Can we can we rewind that? Get, get that in slow motion, please." Oh my goodness, it look it looks so funny. It, was, it looks like one of those cartoon characters that got knocked out of the shoes. I mean, look at how far up in the air he was blasted. Just like, oh my goodness. I did not notice that whenever I first was playing with him. But I am so glad to go back and see that after all this time. Anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the next one.